This Mobile Geeks video is powered by ASUS. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here in London with Samsung. We're just going to take a very quick comparison look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the iPhone 6 Plus. Sadly, the Note 5 isn't even launching in Europe, but that should, shouldn't be a reason for us to not uh, do a comparison because this is actually launching in the US and certain markets in Asia. As you can see, the 5.7 inch Samsung smartphone is still smaller than the Apple smartphone. If you look at the bottom right here, I'm trying to line them at the bottom right there, and you still have about half a centimeter in length that the iPhone 6 Plus is taller, and also if you put them both on top of each other, you'll see up here that the iPhone 6 Plus is definitely wider than the Galaxy Note 5, which is one of the most oddest design decisions I feel in on Apple's side right here, because I just feel they waste so much space on the iPhone 6 Plus, for example, and even in depth, we're talking about seven and a half millimeters on the Galaxy Note 5 right here, and yeah, it's just kind of makes the iPhone 6 Plus look like from the last century. Let's just take a quick tour around and compare them while we're at it. So we have the speakers down here. There is the lightning port on the iPhone and that's your micro USB 2.0 port. Another difference certainly is the S Pen right here. Plus over here you have the headset jack. If you move over to the left, they've pretty much got the volume markers in the same spot over here. Both have separate buttons on the Note 5, they're a bit smaller. You still get the whole switch on the Apple iPhone 6 Plus. And up here we have the SIM card slot of the um, Galaxy Note 5. I don't think there is a micro SD card slot, but we'll try to figure out that later and let you know about it. On the sides, you have the power button right here, another power button on the iPhone, and there is the SIM card slot for the Nano SIM on the iPhone. They both have fingerprint readers on the front, as you know, the iPhone has its Touch ID at the bottom on the Samsung is the, note, uh, the typical fingerprint reader of their design. 2560 by 1440 pixels on the Note 5 and just a standard Full HD so-called Retina display on the iPhone 5. Um, I can't really keep talking right now because they're wrapping things up over here and I'm just going to hurry up. We have a glass back right here and aluminum cover right here, but overall I feel like the Galaxy Note 5 seems to be a much better choice compared to the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, one last thing, 16 megapixel camera on the Galaxy Note 5 just like on the S6 and we have a, I think, 13 megapixel camera on the iPhone. This has just been a very quick look at the Galaxy Note 5 and the iPhone 6 Plus in a little comparison. Yeah.